Hello Akron fans and welcome to this patch overview video for version 1.6.2.0. This is a relatively small patch but it has some notable changes which I'll go over. First big one is sounds under Fog of War can be disabled. Used to be the case that you could always hear anything going on inside the Fog of War and now that can be turned off. It is on by default for historical reasons but for competitive play will most likely be off in general. The Christmas tournament which is currently ongoing will have any future matches with this off, for reference. The other change is the addition of Ambient Occlusion, which is actually an addition in version 1.6.1.0, but showing off now because that was actually the only real notable change in 1.6.1.0. Ambient Occlusion basically makes any areas that are surrounded by lots of objects darker. As you can see, under all these vehicles, there's a bit of darkness. It's most obviously turn on or off. So with it off, you'll notice you can easily see the ground. There's no real distinction between where the units are and where the ground is. Turning it on provides a bit more of a haze around where the units actually get close to the ground. So it looks like there's a little bit of a shadow under them. Of course, this also can happen for pretty much any other concave surface. If you look if you look near the buildings, it's you can sort of see it. Once again, it's most obvious when you turn things on and off. When you actually look in the game, it just sort of looks right overall. It doesn't really look all that remarkable. Right. Once again, if I turn it off and turn it on, you'll see it comes and goes, but when it's on, it's just sort of there. It gives things a bit more depth, but overall it is a relatively subtle effect. Another change in version 1.6.2.0 is that Comm centers, comm hubs, and mounds are cloaked when active. When they are moving, they are no longer cloaked, but when they are active, they are cloaked. They cannot be seen, so their fairly large vision radius is increased as a result. Well, it's much more useful as a result, because basically it's very difficult for your opponent to actually spot that you have a comm hub, much harder than it used to be, and therefore it actually kind of justifies the cost. It was something I've always encouraged people to do, but kind of hard to really motivate when it costs about half your starting Q-Plasma and is really easy to stop. Also, comm centers aren't actually necessary anymore. They don't need an active comm center anymore to build carriers, and similarly for interceptors. Normally, if that comm center was active, was moving around like that, I wouldn't be able to build this. But I can, because that's no longer a requirement. Because really, carriers and interceptors are expensive enough as it is. Another change is a bit of a bug fix more than anything. A couple bug fixes actually. First one, chronoporting. If you chronoport past the border here, see where it's yellow here, you can, normally can't chronoport into here. If you were to set your chronoport target here, earlier versions would simply error out, wouldn't let you go back. Now, it'll instead simply go back as far as it can. That makes the best effort approach in order to get, get you as close as possible to your target destination. To be much less aggravating in practice to use chronoporting now because of that. The last bug fix is to resource processors. A pretty subtle one, but if you notice, li the liquid crystal res resource processor here, it is harvesting continuously. There is no delay, there's no jump or anything. Used to be that there was, but that was a weird random sleep timer for the purposes of reducing the CPU load. It didn't seem to be working all that well and was really slowing down liquid crystal harvesting. With this change, Liquid Crystal comes in a lot faster than it used to, and right now what we found is that the balance isn't too massively affected. It it softens things up a bit, it makes it a little bit easier to get started, especially as Grek as Vekir and less so as Grekim, but it's an important change and it was actually what the game was balanced around. So we should actually see much more interesting games as a result. Any issues that were coming up with balance before, we'll see how they play out now. Anyway, that's it for changes for version 1.6.2.0. You can download the update wherever you purchase the game, or if you got it on Steam, it'll automatically update. Thank you all for watching, and have fun in the game!